This is the lockpicking lawyer, and happy Independence Day to all of my viewers here in the United States. And as we commemorate the 13 American colonies declaring their independence from Britain, I thought it might be appropriate to pick a lock made by our friends in the UK. This is a Walsall 2000 insurance padlock. It has a heavy steel construction, including a high shackle guard, so it will take a good bit of physical punishment. Inside of it is a fairly tricky five-lever mechanism with deep false gates. So deep, in fact, that if I fall into one of them, I'll usually have to reset picking. Recovering from that is very difficult. It's for that reason that when I pick a lock like this, I'll usually start with a couple of intentional fails. These help me learn where the false gates are and how to avoid them. It's going to take a few minutes, but let me take you through the process. I'm going to use this little device from Mad Bob's Lockpicks in the UK as a turning tool. And to lift the levers, we have this picking wire. Now on our first time through the levers, I'm less interested in finding the true gate, though that would certainly be nice, and more interested in getting into a gate. Okay, number five, I felt some movement after hitting him, so he's in a gate. Number one's in a gate, so is two. Okay. Now I'm stuck in false gates, but I can learn a fair bit about the lock from this. Number one is definitely a false gate. I can feel it rubbing on the inside. Number two, is in a gate and it feels like a true gate so that's probably set low three is set low and that's almost certainly a false gate four is loose fairly low so that's probably where number four is set and number five is in a false gate and it is set low so let's reset and see if we can continue to build the knowledge base that will allow us to open this. Okay, nothing on one. Little click on two. Click on three. Nothing on four. Number five was in a low false gate, so we're gonna try to lift him pretty high. Okay, back to one. Again, one that we have to lift fairly high. Nothing on two. Three is another one that we have to lift past a false gate. Okay, back to one. Nothing on two, three, four, five. I think we're pretty close. Everything feels like it's in a true gate right now. One's definitely in a true gate, so is two. Oh, three just needed a little nudge, and we got this open. So, as you saw, this is a tricky little lock to open, but if you spend a few minutes looking for the false gates and how to avoid them, the process becomes very manageable. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe and have a great Independence Day.